Hey kids, Pastor David here. I'm excited to tell you this morning about one of my favorite Psalms, one of my favorite verses in the Psalm. Uh, in Psalm 30, which we're looking at as a church together this weekend, it says, sorrow may last for the night, but joy comes with the morning. And then later on in verse 11 says that God turns our mourning into dancing. You know what mourning is? Mourning's like being sad, weeping, crying, being sad. God turns our, our sadness into dancing. Isn't that interesting? Maybe, maybe you like to dance. My, my girls, who are ages three and five and a half, they love to come in the kitchen at the Mathis house and tell Alexa to play some dance song or just play any kind of Disney song, and they will dance around the kitchen. They love to show mommy and daddy their joy through their dancing. And an amazing thing here in Psalm 30 is that David doesn't only say that God turns his sadness into happiness, or that he turns his sadness into words of praise that he could say. It's like when we, pray God, when we praise God and when we sing songs to God, he says that God turns our sadness into dancing, that God rescues us and helps us and gives us strength and delivers us such that he changes us, our whole being. Dancing here, it, it's an image for how God changes our whole body, our whole life, all that we do, that God means to give us joy that's not just a little joy down in my heart. Where? <laughs> he does do that. He does give us joy down, down, down in my heart. Uh, but he also gives us joy in our mouths to praise him, to say things about God. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he great? Look how he delivered me. And he gives us the kind of joy too. Not all the time, but at moments, and one day, fully and perfectly, the kind of joy that makes us dance with the kind of happiness that maybe you dance with as a kid. It is an awesome thing for kids to dance. And when adults get older, sometimes we get, we get more self-conscious and we let ourselves uh, maybe have forms of sadness or leftover parts of our sadness in our bodies and we don't dance and we're, we're self-conscious about that. It is an awesome thing when kids dance. You should keep dancing. And it's really good for us parents to see our children dance and remember what God means for us to do. You know, one day you will see, if you're, whether your parents like to dance or not, one day you will see your parents dancing. I promise you. When Jesus comes back and we're given our new bodies and we're brought into a new heavens and new earth, all of our mourning, all our sadness is gonna be turned to dancing. And in that moment, it will be so important for us as parents to remember what it was like for us when we danced as kids and to remember singing, seeing our own children dance. Maybe that'll help us take the right cues and do some really good dancing of our own when that joy so fills us, fills our minds, our hearts, our mouths, our whole body, and we dance before the Lord. And in the meantime, God means for our lives to be a kind of dance before him and before the world, demonstrating the joy and the hope that we have in God. So kids, thank you for leading the way. Keep dancing and may we all dance more and more in the lives that we live in this world.